Guys, welcome back to another video where today we'll be asking the question, does a zoom lens belong in street photography? So many of us associate the 35 mil, the 50 mil, that nifty 50, some even the 90 mil fixed prime lens for street photography. But can a zoom lens do just as well? Well, there's only one way to find out. Make sure you stick around at the end. There'll be some special photos that weren't recorded. So the zoom lens of choice today is the Olympus 40 to 150 mil f4 to 5.6. This small and lightweight lens is equivalent to 80 to 300 mil full frame. And it's ideal for everything from close up portraits to long distance street scenes. It boosts a 32 time zoom. And one of this lens's most interesting features is the unique to Olympus movie and still capability mechanism or MSC. This technology provides amazingly fast and nearly silent autofocus operation. With the lens only weighing 190 grams, in my eyes, makes this a fantastic second lens to carry around. So here we go then guys, and as, as mentioned, we're hitting the streets today with the Olympus EM1 Mark II, my go-to camera, coupled with the 40 to 150 mil f4 to 5.6. Now we started the day over an industrial side of Hull an area I'm not really familiar with but the graffiti around here did make for some amazing photos and just to start off we're just getting our feet in I saw this over to the left hand side of me for me it was the steam coming out and it was also the colours of the blue on the doors there they just made for a bit of a nice photo just to start the day with and uh, just to get the feel for the area Moving over then, I saw this lorry popping out. And again, from the colors over on the right hand side of the wall to that of the truck itself, it just made for a nice color photo. And again, we're still just trying to find our feet. And I wanted to see how the lens here would react to kind of the zoom in, zoom out, and just to get around the aspect of the photo. Today, as you can see then, it's extremely overcast. Again, it's not making for great photos. There wasn't a lot of people around either in town or over on the industrial side. Um, so today was all about just playing around with a bit of architecture and just getting a feel from the camera, getting a lot of stock images. Again, just to put this video together and just have a play around. This is a really nice photo though, getting that building up there into the sky. It just made it, it gave it that vibe of the industrial side. Now this one here, we had Jonathan taking a photo over the graffiti and I saw his reflection in the window on the right hand side. And for me, it just made for a really nice abstracty kind of photo and was probably one of my, one of my most favorites on the day. So always one to uh, have an opportunity and always turning my head. I saw this little, little pop it let's say in this car and uh, yeah it, for the whole day this was probably my mood but it did make for a bit of a funny photo and yeah I quite enjoyed it Sometimes you have to be like that. You have to be constantly your head on the swivel, looking around and finding opportunities that, you know, that may not always be there. So coming out of the industrial side then, we were talking to Jonathan about always looking up around, around Hull, ensuring we look up to make sure we don't miss opportunities. And this one right here for me was a bit of a minimal shot. I liked the curve of the building. I like the points, the two points there at the top of the building. And for me, it just made for a really nice clean cut image. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, drop the channel a little bit of love. Drop it a like, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments, would you add a zoom lens to your kit? So now then, we're making our way into town. Again, the weather is not picking up. We were hoping for a bit of sunshine, but sadly, that did not come. There's a lot more people in town, and I'm not one for shooting individuals. It's not really my subject of expertise, but it is something I'm trying more and more of, and any opportunity I can get, I will try and shoot. For example, this one here, I saw a gentleman over in the distance, just sat there, just minding his own business, just letting the world go by. And I was trying to frame individuals to either the left or right hand side or try and get a cleaner image. Now 
as you can see that one there kind of blocked out and then we had this female here and I managed to get it just in time and I think the image speaks a thousand words how we can be sat there and let the world go by around us. It's always nice to be out on the streets with friends and to get some really good photos. Up here then, I loved the idea. There was three workers working on three different levels and uh, high-vis jackets along with the orange there just worked really nice. If I was to change anything on this, I probably would have zoomed out slightly a bit more and got a bit more of the lower third. So looking around this area then, again, with not many people around, it was a real struggle to find inspiration for photos. And I saw this over to the left hand side and I thought a bit, I really like this wooden pattern here. I liked the building and I thought it would make for a really nice composition. However, with that tight 40 to 150, I wish I had the 20 back on just for that particular shot. The idea was to go into the market hall then, but it was extremely busy and I thought it would kind of ruin the shot. So I shot it from the outside, seeing them neon signs, trying to get a bit of this grass in the foreground just to give that bit of depth of field. Not award winning, but again, I like the aspect of getting that bit of depth. It shows that aspect of it. So as we sort of started to leave the area then, in front of the guys here, I saw a female walking down, really hoping she'd keep on this side of the path and walk past me. So a bit of detective work, I kind of hid myself out of the way, using this pillar beside me just to kind of cover me. So it didn't kind of put her off and made that candid moment a bit more. So a range of photos were fired off here then, and this for me is probably the favorite one out of all of them. I like the separation between all three individuals there as well. Now, I'm never one to shy away from a phone box. It is something I've found really useful in the past and all of my photography, just allowing to use these frames. And there's a family behind us with one of the girls was flipping a bottle up in the air and I was hoping she'd do the same and thankfully she did. And yeah, she was as excited with flipping and catching a bottle as I was capturing this photo. Overall, that photo came out really nice and I like how I didn't want to crop too much from the right hand side. I felt that would have unbalanced the photo and uh, yeah, I feel that worked really well. So walking up towards the harbour then and the marina, I saw this reflection of the plant with the orange chairs in this window, took a couple of the shots and again, uh, a really nice abstractive reflection kind of photo, uh, really my style of photo this is and one I'm very happy with, especially with the quality of that zoom lens as well, it makes for a really nice photo. So this is the joy of having a zoom lens on you, is there's an opportunity here with the 20, it would have been too far out, where the opportunity using the zoom lens, I was able to zoom in and capture this woman just minding her own and doing her day-to-day -day work. Guys, there we have it. However, as mentioned at the beginning, here are some photos that weren't captured on video. Hope you enjoy them.